Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to add brushes in GIMP. But first we need to create a folder that we're going to put our extra brushes in. So if we go to our finder, you can see that I've already created a folder in my documents called GIMP brushes. And if I click on this, you can see all the different uh, brushes that I've installed. So now what we need to do is we need to tell GIMP where to look for these brushes. So we're going to go up to GIMP and we're going to go to preferences and down to folders. And here we can see brushes and as you can see here's all the different folders that I have GIMP looking in for different brushes. And you can add a folder by clicking this little page up here and then clicking this folder right here and it will show you different folders on your computer and you just want to click your name or whatever you've called your computer and um, I recommend putting it in documents it's just easier to find so you're going to find it in documents and then click the folder and hit OK but I already have it routed so we're going to click OK for that. So now we need to download our brush. So I have a really simple brush I have here sponge brushes and just click download as I've, I've already downloaded it. So we're going to go back to GIMP and we're going to go into our brushes. And if we look in my brushes, I don't have the sponges. So what's going to make this easier is you want to go down here and open the brush selection dialog. And this is going to give you a fresh new box and what's important about this is it has a refresh button so we go back into our finder and we go into our downloads to where the brush has been downloaded and we see this abr file and this is our brush file so what we want to do is we want to click this and we want to drag it over to our gimp brushes and now that we have it in our gimp brushes we can go back to gimp and open up this brush dialog again by going into the brushes and then down to this brush icon and we want to click refresh and now if we scroll down we have these splatter brushes at our disposal to use and it's really fun to download a bunch of different brushes and test them out and experiment hope you enjoyed this tutorial like favorite comment and subscribe for more